Part two of our video on lesson planning, we are going to look at a particular lesson plan format that I have named after myself so I too can make a million dollars. First of all, good lessons, effective learning experiences do not magically appear. Winging it is for birds. They must be planned. Lesson plans are used to organize your thinking. If it's organized up here, it's organized on the page, students are more likely to be able to follow it and code and understand. Lesson plans should be descriptive and sequential, meaning that a substitute teacher should be able to pick it up and replicate your lesson, make it work based on what appears on the lesson plan format. Now there are many styles, many forms of lesson plans, Obviously, I advocate the one I'll be describing in a minute. But no, whatever form you use, or whatever form your instructor or professor wants you to use, it will change and evolve in five years as you change and evolve. We insist on a particular form because we want you to internalize the way of thinking and processing and organizing. In that sense, a lesson plan is like a thinking skill. We teach you the steps and processes knowing that you'll internalize it. Lesson plans enable and allow for more purposeful instruction. You're not just creating experiences. You're not just sucking up time that you have a purpose and everything is related to that purpose. You increase academic learning time and time on task. It enhances learning. Students learn more when it's organized. As I said before, they can see the structure. That's good cognitive psychology. Seeing the structure, they are better able to encode that and see the relationships and put it in the right file schema in their head. It enhances your effectiveness as a teacher. You can be more effective. Students will learn more. You know exactly what to do. You're not fishing around. Also, having a lesson plan, having it planned out, allows you to incorporate higher level, more, uh, more high level teaching strategies and skills. Uh, high level complex things need to be planned. And finally, there is a difference between teaching a concept and teaching a skill. One of the many limitations of Danielson and Hunter lesson plan formats, formulas, recipes, whatever you want to call them, they do not differentiate between teaching a concept and teaching a skill. And we go about them in completely different ways. So I'm going to show you the Johnson lesson plan format again so I can make a million dollars. I really can't make a million dollars. Joking. This is for teaching information or concepts. It's based on cognitive psychology as well as holistic learning theory. It is simple. Simple, simple, simple. It starts with a lesson purpose statement. What is the purpose of this lesson? What do you want students to learn or know about? Students will learn about frogs. Students will learn about the Earth's atmosphere. Students will learn about the three branches of government. That is the purpose. Not a behavioral objective, but a purpose. The input is the specific information you want students to know. And I recommend that this be listed in outline form using simple, incomplete sentences. Just enough words, concise statements to hold the idea so that you can see the structure and easily follow your lesson plan as you're looking down at it. Now, sometimes input and activities are combined. And the activity portion of a lesson plan is to get students to manipulate the information or use and extend the information. So you have a purpose, you're giving them specific information, and then some activity to have them manipulate or engage in that information further. All this should directly support your lesson plan purpose. All right, research on the elements of effective skills instruction says there are particular steps. It starts with an objective I call a purpose statement. 
when you're teaching a skill, as opposed to a concept, there are uh, specific steps. Step one, do this. Step two, do this. Step three, do that. So you identify the steps. Then you model. This is how you do it. Step one, step two, step three. So they can see you using the skill. And this is a skill of any kind. It could be an athletic skill. It could be an academic skill. It could be a musical skill. There is guided practice in which you take the whole group through it together. And then there in, there's independent practice where students are able to practice the skill independently. And with any skill, you cannot assume learning after one learning experience. You need to revisit and review. And here is the Johnson lesson plan format for teaching skills. What do you want students to learn or be able to do? For example, students will learn uh, a, a particular particular guitar strum. All right, let's use that as an example. Input, what exactly do st students need to know to perform the skill? Boys and girls, this is how you do the strum. See it? One, two, three, five, one, two, three. And I'm giving them instruction, direct instruction. These are the steps. Then I model the skill. This is how I do it. Sometimes these two are combined. Guided practice, we take the whole class through it. Sometimes that's called scaffolded instruction. If you remember Bogotsky, that's scaffolded instruction. And then independent practice. Students practice what they have already learned. If you are teaching successfully, students should have 95 to 100% success rate here. Meaning independent practice is not where you challenge them, it's practice of what they have already learned. Another example, students will do long division, learn how to do long division. I break it down into steps, I teach them the steps, and I model a long division problem for them. Guided practice, I give them thinking paper and we go through the steps together. Eventually, I take one step away and then another, and eventually they're able to do a complete problem by themselves. And as practice, I assign homework and walk around the room to make sure everyone has got it. If I'm doing my job, students are able to be successful here. It's practice of what they have already learned. All right, that is a very or two very simple lesson plan formats. They work.